What's going on, people? It's that dude named Dave, and I am back with another video. Before we get started here, I need you guys to do a few things for me. Click on like, subscribe, and that bell notification below. Why? Because I am on the road to 20,000 subscribers. Anyway, enough about me here. You guys email me this video for regarding MSNBC, and it looks like the Democratic shills are throwing all the entertainers and comedians out to shill for Kamala Harris because they believe that black men's gonna be the reason why that they're gonna lose the vote. And on NBC's telecast, they have Ari Melbourne. And if you're not aware of him, he likes to quote hip hop lyrics and like Nas and Jay-Z into his commentary. But who do they have on the show here? If it's not D.L. Hughley, it's Ricky Smiley. So let's see what they're going to say regarding Kamala Harris and the black man in the vote here. Let's go. To become the demographic, to be proactively courted. So we want to dig into this with the facts and some special guests. Ricky Smiley hosts the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. Uh, that yeah. is where he's interviewed everyone from Barack and Michelle, as you see there, to Snoop Dogg. His book is Sideshow, Living with Loss and Moving Forward with Faith. And then returning to the broadcast, our friend Kevin Lyles, uh, former chairman and CEO of 300, once ran Def Jam, a hip hop icon in his own right. If you know, you know. Uh, and he has been working with the Harris campaign on these very issues. Uh, welcome to both of you. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, guys. Wait, Kevin Lyles has been working with the Kamala Harris campaign? Wait a minute, isn't this the same Kevin Lyles who just recently, with all the P. Diddy, Puff Daddy, Sean Combs news of him being arrested, of all the baby oil allegations, we don't need to go through that because I we've already talked about it in my show, go to my old videos. But didn't he just resign amongst a whole bunch of other CEOs during the cataclysm collapse of P. Diddy getting arrested here? So the Kamala Harris is working with Kevin Lyles? kind of makes sense why you see all these entertainers going for Kamala here. Let's see what they're going to say. Ricky, I'll go to you first. Uh, your thoughts on all the above. I showed the numbers. Uh, it looks like both for Hillary Clinton and Kamala Harris, black men have been stepping up. Yeah, um, uh, I, I, uh, first of all, good good to see both of you. Kevin, you know I love you. Uh, Ari, thank you for having me. Yes, sir. Uh, it, it's really good. I started getting phone calls from Roland Martin uh, when they started doing the black men for Harris. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Have you noticed with this election cycle, how did Roland Martin become like the leader, became the authority figure for information regarding the Democrats and regarding this election here? Every time I hear the Democrats or any entertainer or some celebrity saying, you need to know information, they always say, you need to talk to Roland or Roland, uh, Roland Martin said this here. I had no idea that Zesty Roland was the new leader of the Democratic Party. Makes sense why so many men ain't rocking with him. Let's go. Uh, you know, just to be a part of that. And that was, that was it, it felt like the foundation of them just trying to build up support for Harris because, you know, this country is just as sexist as it is, uh, you know, some of the other issues that the country have. And, uh, you know, I don't have a, a, a problem seeing a woman in power as long as her policies align with, uh, you know, with what I, you know, with that, what I have going on and my family and my people and uh, we know what it was like under, under under Donald Trump because he was president for four years. So um, you know, I was all in from day one, but I don't understand what's what's been the issue from other black men and what's been taking so long to get black men to come around. Because at the end of the day, your mother's a black woman, your sister's a black woman, and our mother had to lead us to where we are now. If it wasn't for our mother, uh, Kevin, you know this, uh, we wouldn't be where we are. So it was not an issue. Now, Ricky, I didn't. Ricky, I didn't know. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What is the problem? Well, didn't Kamala Harris say out of her own mouth she is not doing anything for black people unless it benefits everybody? How is it that every candidate that comes from the Democratic Party either tells they're not going to do something for us or they're going to say, we need to do more studying on the situation here? Did Kamala Harris pass the Asian hate bill? And whatever you're going to say, that's all the details under that bill. Didn't that bill provide escape and also haven and protections to Asian people? So what are we saying here? And then why are we playing identity politics? Wait, because my mama's black? Because my grandmother and my grand and my aunts are black, I'm supposed to vote for Kamala Harris. 
This, I can understand this ideology in the 80s. I understood this in the 90s. It, I understood it when I voted for Barack Obama the first time in 2008. But now, as I'm a middle-aged man, why me voting for somebody has to do with their race here? Because just because you're black or you may look accomplished doesn't mean that you can do the job here. And at this point in the game here, as me living in Chicago, we're dealing with all kinds of situations with the migrants and the immigrants coming into our country, taking over our cities, and you want us to vote for her, saying that what has she done wrong? She has completely ignored the black community, and she is telling us that she is ignoring the black community unless they're going to write a policy that helps everybody here, which means that's just a policy for all Americans. But let's continue. You were going to come on live TV and talk about Kevin's mom. <laughs> he could do that. He gets it fast. But you're doing it positively, I guess. <laughs> Uh, let me thank you. Let me bring it to Kevin. Uh, you've been on this program many times. Uh, you are one of those people who has many things. You're a polymath. You, we could say, oh, you're an entrepreneur. Oh, you're a business guy. Oh, you're a culture guy. Uh, you're also a political guy working with Harris. What do you see in this conversation in politics that's missed out on some of what's really going on in quote unquote black America and all of America? Well, I, I, first off, great to see you, Ari. Great to see you. Uh, it's uh, to me, this, you see the numbers, but, but I have to tell you, I was in Philly and um, Rodney Pete, uh, Bakari, um, we had a, one of the football players from the Eagles, a um, couple of us having a real conversation at a black owned restaurant. First question, Bakari said, how many of you uh, guys are voting for Trump? <laughs> no hands raised. It's a myth. What they're doing is trying mm. to confuse everybody. Mm. They're, they're trying to divide us. Uh, the second- Is it really a myth? Or Kevin Lyles, you are only around the rich and elite. You see, you are around the people who are getting paid to speak for Kamala Harris. Just like the video I did yesterday regarding Cardi B, who completely messed up the greatest speech of all time, right? And she's talking about all the things that Kamala's gonna do for us. Only time when we see people coming for Kamala Harris are millionaires, billionaires, athletes and entertainers there is no regular everyday people who is feeling the hurt who is feeling the things that's going on within this campaign right now within the current uh joe biden and kamala harris campaign the last four years that's showcasing that we are supporting them because we are seeing the issues here kevin lyles have you ever been to a chicago meeting here with brandon adams and seeing all the people who revolt against the against the policies and lobby makers here you were out of touch all these millionaires and billionaires they have no idea what's going on thing is, uh, I'm, the P I'm pushing right now mm. is about this policy. So her policy, I'm a serial entrepreneur. You know this. You know, I've I do. made hundreds of multimillionaires over the years. And now these multimillionaires are now making other millionaires. And now she's saying, you know what? I want to fuel that by giving you guys $20,000. I want to, I'm going to alone. I want to fuel that by empowering you guys to be stronger and better. That's the, that's the policy. Is that twenty twenty five thousand dollar credit for housing? Is that all? That's that for uh, for Americans, or is the policy in place for migrants and immigrants coming into this country who they're trying to make it qualify for so they can create a whole new voter block? Is that really for Black folks, or is that for the others? Come on now. P, I have to be with her, and then I have to tell you that the other P I'm pushing that is personal. So it's personal because I have a son who saw his first black superhero, and it wasn't Black Panther, it was Barack Obama. Huh. I have three daughters, Gigi, Vivi, and Kayla, who get to say, Dad, we have a black female president. And I have a grandmother that died, and before she died, she got to say to me, Kevin, can you believe there's a black man in the White House? Mm. These are all things that are personal to me and why I support Kamala and why I go out on the road and in, in Atlanta with Spike and Samuel Jackson and be nice and all my guys. Makes a lot of sense. You know, Rick. That is the issue that we have in here. And I can understand that symbolism, me being a black man, seeing that we finally got our first black president. Or you want to say we're going to have our first black woman president. Let's stop with the lies right now, okay? She is not black. And if you want to come to me saying that she is black, why don't you guys check out her Club Shay Shay interview with Shannon Sharp here? She basically said it without basically openly admitting it that her black family was not by blood but it was by love. Uh, I did not know that you can be black by love.
That's what we're talking about here. And I get it with the identity politics. You want your kids to have a, a, a image to look up to, to what you can aspire to, because I have a little black daughter that I'm raising here right now. I want her to strive to be the best at what she wants to do in her life here. But here's the situation, people. Do I want her to live in a society where we're voting for somebody just on the skin color and not even recognizing that this is only black people in disguise of white supremacy here. We're done with the video here. So I just want to throw it out here that we got the election coming up here in the next day here, and we see all these entertainers, all these athletes saying that, what choice do we have? What, what are we going to do here? Democracy is at risk. If democracy was really at risk, how come democracy did not crash when, he was in, when Trump was in office from January 2017 to January 2021? We are now four years removed from his administration, and we are still here, but we are seeing the pains, ill effects of this administration with inflation and the things that's come upon the regular people, and the cost of goods are going up, and people are not having proper living wages. And if you see the latest jobs report, only 12 thousand jobs was recently added here. So for the Ricky Smiles of the world, for the DL Hughes of the world who are making millions, who've been rich for a long time here, they are getting paid to tell you to vote for Kamala Harris. They don't really believe in what they're saying here because here's what I want to tell you. If you go back and look at D.O. Higley's timeline from four years ago when Kamala Harris was making her first bid for president, when she clearly crashed and burned. Look at D.L. Hilly's Twitter. He was dogging, clowning, and disrespecting Kamala Harris to no end here. Matter of fact, if you look at his current tweets right now, they look the same as four years ago. The thing is, he is dogging black men, replaced black men, and put in Kamala Harris. And we're telling these elites here, we need tangible benefits. You guys are not aware what's going on in the ground here. You have no idea because you are getting paid for it. And just like Cardi B, they are unaware and have no idea what we're living in this real world here. But what do I know? I'm just a YouTuber. Let's get the conversation started. I want to hear what you guys got to say. Comment, like, subscribe, and click on that bell notification below. Let me know what you think about my commentary. Let me know what you think about Ricky Smiley saying that since your black, since your mama and your grandmother's a black woman, we need to vote for Kamala Harris. And Kevin Lyles, who literally just stepped down from his CEO position after the Diddy arrest, and he's now involved in the Kamala Harris campaign, sounds kind of fishy. But on that note, I'm out of here. I'm that dude named Dave. See y'all later, YouTube world. Oh, 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 oh,